June 2017, uh, the Benin of Tanzania intends to adopt the new framework of monetary policy that will target interest rate instead of quantity of money supply. This framework is the best framework. It is used by bank, central banks across the world and it delivers the desired outcome much better than the uh, quantity-based monetary policy framework that has been in use since we adopted monetary, I mean market-based monetary policy uh, in 1995. Um, we intend to adopt this before the end of this year. Um, we, the purpose of the media about this, one of them, is that this framework will depend a lot on communication. Uh, the public needs to get a proper communication about the decision that is made about the policy rate. The way this uh, framework is going to work, the monetary policy uh, committee will decide a policy rate and the Bank of Tanzania will take monetary policy actions to make sure that the interbank cash market rate is as close as possible to the policy rate that will be decided. The decisions about the policy rate that will be made by the MPC will be guided by the perception of inflationary pressures uh, that are forecasted to be um, in the coming, in the coming um, maybe months or in the coming year. So if there are some inflationary pressures coming, the MPC may decide to increase the policy rate in order to reduce that pressure by reducing the liquidity. The central bank or the Bank of Tanzania will follow that decision by taking the right kind of actions in the market to make sure that the interbank cash market rate is as close as possible to the policy rate that has been decided by the Monetary Policy Committee. What are, what are the advantages of the PR? Uh, the the, maybe policy, you are saying PR meaning the uh, policy, policy rate. rate. Yes. Maybe the question is what are the advantages of the new framework? Yeah. Um, the new framework is based on price. Um, the price of money here we are talking about the uh, price that you pay in order to use somebody else's money, that is called the interest rate. Now, if you target price, you have an advantage because if there are changes in the demand, then you still keep your target. Unlike when you uh, target quantity. If you're targeting quantity and there are changes uh, in the demand, it means that you may end up with an interest rate that is very different from what you had, I mean, you had intended at the beginning. Because, for instance, you have targeted to supply uh, so much money supply, I mean money, and then it turns out for some reason the demand for that money has gone down. But you continue to supply exactly the same amount. It means that you will end up having too much money in the economy and that may lead to inflation going up uh, instead of where you have wanted it to be. But if you are targeting uh, price or you are targeting interest rates, like the framework that we are adopting now, it means that um, if the demand for money declines, you will see um, uh, the interest rate um, actually going up. And then you will decide to, I mean, you will see the interest rate going down, and then you will decide to reduce money supply in order to keep it where you wanted it to be. So, so that is the advantage of the Will that help to reduce uh, lending rates? Uh, Commercial not, loans. I cannot say that directly because it depends on where the police rate will be. 
the policy rate can go down or it can go up, depending on the assessment of uh, uh, the inflationary pressures. All right? Okay. So if inflationary pressures are high, it means that there's too much liquidity in the economy, and the rate will go up in order to reduce that liquidity. Now, if that rate goes up, it may translate to other rates going up. If the inflationary pressures are too low, if we think inflation is going to turn maybe 4% while our target is 5%, or it's going to turn uh, to 3% while our target is 5%, it means that there's too much, I mean, the liquidity out there is too low. So it means we'll take measures of supplying more liquidity. And depending on what um, policy rate is decided, it means other rates are also expected to respond to the policy rate. So if policy rate goes down, other rate rates will also uh, follow uh, the policy rate. If it goes up, other rates are also expected. Are there some shortfalls? What? Of the shortfalls of the new policy or disadvantage of the new framework? So as not, to not really, because uh, what we are saying here is that this is the uh, best framework that is used by central banks across the world. And our adoption of this framework is actually part of the modernization of monetary policy in this country. It's the, the best framework that is used by central banks. But why does uh, BOT took long to adopt the new framework? There were, if it's the best there, one. Okay, <coughs> there were factors. At the beginning of our adoption of market-based market uh, monetary policy framework in 1995, there were factors which did not allow us to um, to adopt the uh, price-based or interest-based uh, monetary policy framework. And one of those was that we, our data was not that good. I mean, we didn't have, for instance, uh, high-frequency uh, GDP statistics. Today we have quarterly uh, uh, GDP numbers. Um, at that time, of course, the markets, the financial markets, we are not well developed. So that is another reason that we could not adopt the price-based monetary policy at that time. And also, like I said, the data and also even the capacity of uh, forecasting. You need to have very good uh, forecasting capacity. And we have built all those. Now, now right, is, I mean, right now, as we are talking, the um, financial markets have developed a lot. Uh, we have a lot of data today, and our capacity to forecast has improved a lot. So we have come to a time when we can move to the next step. Thank you. Good.